YouTube what's going on GDJ right here I uh, just want to do a quick haul video today uh, I've got a nice little stack of books I picked up yesterday uh, went to my uh, new shop and picked up some books and uh, they had my full list for me and um, a couple others I needed and I did some back issue uh, hunting yesterday with uh, Gimpy so and his friend Jeff so trying to make that like a maybe a bi-weekly thing um, go out and just do some back issue hunting anyway um, the new shop that I'm going to it's like I said before in previous video it's about 45 minutes away so if I make it there a couple times a month no big deal because they're not really pulling a lot of books right now anyway especially with all the um, <clears throat> reboots and cancellations and stuff that DC's got going on I saw where they've got five titles DC's canceling between now and I think November and December when the last issues of five different titles are canceling I think Lobo's, uh, the Lobo series the newer one New 52 Lobo which I never cared for um, I think Justice League United is one of them. Uh, Omega Man is another one. And uh, Gotham by Midnight is another one. I saw that they're canceling. So if any of you guys are collecting those, um, if you don't know already, they're November and December will be the last months those issues come out. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and start with the books that I picked up from my shop. They're on my pull list. Uh, we got the uh, Star Wars. Shattered Empire, basically the journey to Force Awakens. Um, I actually read this; it's not too bad. Um, so I'm kind of waiting to see what the next, I guess, four issues that are coming out with holds. I don't know if they're going to do another series after this or not. Fairly decent book. Liked it. <clears throat> um, this wasn't on my pull list, so I picked it up because I like Aliens. I always have. Uh, so I got Aliens and Vampirilla. Our work in here is pretty good. Um, Storyline's fun. So it's just kind of interesting to see vampires versus aliens. <laughs> it's kind of fun, fun title. So pick that up. Um, Batman 44. Um, read this. Pretty decent story. It's kind of like a, a filler story, I feel. Um, got some stuff about uh, Mr. Bloom in here. Batman doing some detective work with Jim Gordon, so not a bad, not a bad story. Um, that's all the new books I had, other than these two. They're not a little newer, but they're not rolled. Um, I picked up the last two issues of uh, Chrononauts. I finally got around to picking them up. I read those. Uh, this was a pretty good mini series. I got number three. Well, I like the covers. Pretty fun. I usually like a lot of the covers they do, and. Then uh, issue number four, the final issue. So this was a pretty cool story. I like the artwork. Um, this and Mark Moore did some good writing in it. Um, the artwork was pretty cool. Um, <sighs> so I definitely enjoyed that. Um, and all the back issues. We went to a couple different places yesterday. We went to um, this guy that probably I'd say closer to my age. Maybe I don't know who he is. Uh, Get the ears from Jeff's. Um, he had a comic shop, I believe, um, kind of close to where they lived at at one time, and uh, he got really sick. I don't know if he had cancer or what it is, but I think I think it may be cancer. But <clears throat> sad deal. He ended up closing up his shop, so he's got a real small office space, and he's selling off his collection. So we're uh, we went by there to check out and see what he got, had. Um, he had some stuff I was interested in, not really just, you know, not the major stuff I was hunting for. Um, he did have a couple turtle books I got, um, a little cheap. So I went ahead and picked them up. I got the uh, Tales of the uh, Teenage Ninja Turtles number three. Love me some turtle stuff, especially the older black and white stuff. And then I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number five. So I always pick these up whenever I see them floating around in the wild if I can for a decent price. So, <clears throat> so I got that. Now as far as my spawn books go, we, we end up hitting up half price books um, and then end up hitting up our uh, local comic shop. So 
Um, half price books, I love buying spawn there because they're only like a buck fifty. So, so I pretty much got my fifty, uh, the fifty numbers pretty much done. I just need fifty five, but I did find uh, fifty six or fifty nine there, so I'm pretty happy about that. So there's number fifty six. Number 57. Number 58. Sorry about the glare. Number 59. So yeah, I just need number 55. I'll have all those, I think. Number 55, 77, 95, and 99, I'll have a 1 through 100 complete straight through. Um, then I have up to 119. I need to get that one. Then I got some, a few others in the 100 area to fill in. Um, and then I think I need issue 237 because somehow I missed that back when I was pulling, pulling it for some reason. I guess I never made it in my box, so I need to get 237. But trying to finish that run, really like Spawn. Um, the newer stuff that's been coming out has been pretty good, so I uh, like it since I bought all some back. So I picked up uh, my local shop, or not my local shop, the uh, newer shop that I go to now. Um, their back issues are a little expensive um, on some things, especially spawn. I mean, you're looking at anywhere from the six to twelve dollar range. I'm like, ah, I don't really want to pay that for them, but. Um, the guy was real cool yesterday. Um, he gave me a really good discount on all these books that I bought from him. I just picked up three, three of them from him. Um, so I got 118. Love those covers. Love Greg Pulo artwork, especially on Spawn. <clears throat> picked up number 120. And issue 134. So. That's all the spawn books I got yesterday. Um, I'm happy to put another dent into that. And my buddy Gimpy yesterday so graciously hooked me up with some books. Um, once again, buddy, thank you for that. Um, I'm going to try to sit down and read them this one of my days off. So I'm going to try to, between today and tomorrow, hopefully get this little stack of books read. Um, so he knows I really like to show the strain. So. Um, he had some of the books from that series that Dark Horse was doing, so I'm pretty excited to read about reading those. Uh, this was issue number one. I think this was the one shot they did. Oh, they're announcing when the show was coming out last year. And let's see here. And then this was, well, this was another series that's the strain, the strain for fall, number one. And then here's uh, number two. And then number three. Number four. And then there's number five. Number six. Number eight and number nine. Now this is a number one from a different series. This is the Night Eternal. Yeah, I'm going to read through these. Uh, I'm going to try to pick the others up if there is more to collect. I'm sure there is. So that was really cool. I got those. I'm really looking forward to, to reading all of them. <clears throat> and then he gave me, I didn't even know about this. Uh, I think when I came out, I was a lot of touch in comic scene at the time. Um, this was a image book um, called the Trees, uh, done by Warren Ellis and Jason Howard. Uh, I think it's about... Uh, these aliens come to Earth and somehow they have these big monolith type things they call trees that are implanted in the ground. So 
I'm not really sure what that's all about, but I'll check it out. Um, here's issue number one. Number two. Number three. I really like a lot of the covers on them. They're pretty cool. Uh, there's issue number four. Number five. Issue number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. And number eleven. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about getting to read all those. Um, See what that's all about. Um, I think it's still an ongoing series. I think that's what it told me. So I'll have to look into that, you know, especially if I really like the stories. Really, really, once again, buddy, appreciate you for hooking me up. You know, um, if you guys don't watch Gimpy's channel, you need to. It's Gimpy 204. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, he's a really good dude. Real big heart. Nice guy. Loves comics. Loves a lot about comics. Um, <clears throat> fun guy to hang out with um, but yeah that's all I got for this week guys um, probably be another before I get any more books probably be another week or so um, I do have a nerd block coming over the next three to four days so once I get that I'll do an unboxing of that and then I also have a couple eBay um, auction items I want I should be getting over the next couple days so I'll probably just wait till they come in and then my nerd block and I'll just probably show them all in one video um, as far as comics, it's probably going to be in at least another two weeks. So. But uh, thanks, guys. Um, uh, thanks for everybody that watches and subscribes. Um, I'll see you guys soon.